is a presentation of Fox Sports. Oh, this is pretty comfortable, man. Hey, how you guys doing back there? <laughs> We're doing great, Howie. Could you hit a couple more curbs for me? We still <laughs> so where are we going again? We've got some fresh meat to pick up. His name is Frank Kelly, and he's going to do our picks every week. Who in the world is that? Oh, TV, you've seen him. He's from Mad TV, and the boy's flat out funny. Yeah, but does he know anything about football? Well, that's where we come in. You know what? He lives right up here to the right, you guys. Cool. Hey, fellas, where are you going? Frank lives here. Oh. Frank, are you home? Hey, guys. Hey. Come on in. What happened to you, son? You going crazy? You lost your house in a divorce, didn't you? I know all about that. Get out of there. Hey, Frank, let me be Frank. We're going to teach you some football. And we're going to toughen you up a little bit, cutie. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get this right. You guys are going to toughen me up, so you bring me into the makeup room? Hmm. Who's running hey, this show? Hey, Brian hey, Boyd. Hey, shut up. What? Shut up. When we're through with you, you'll be a football expert. Just sit there and take it like a man, you punk. Hey, poke it up, boy. Pay attention. Frank, now look here. Here's what we've got. Cover two with a corner blitz. Now, cover two. Safety here. Safety here. Ball snap. Teach me a thing or two about football. <laughs> Three or four, five or six or seven, eight. Stay me, Howard, Derek, Gilliam. Another thing. Stop the show. Today on Fox NFL Sunday, James Brown with the latest news updates. Terry Bradshaw will tell which new QB will get it done and which won't. Howie Long on who'll be in the Super Bowl. And Jimmy Johnson's exclusive interview with Bill Parcells. Frank's picks, Jillian's weather, and special guest Keeper Sutherland. The one and only Fox NFL Sunday is right now. It's the one and only Ford F-150 Fox NFL Sunday. America's best-selling trucks are built Ford Tough. And hello again, everyone. I'm James Brown, and welcome to the opening weekend of the NFL and, of course, our 10th season of Fox NFL Sunday. Good to be alongside with you and my colleagues, the eternally youthful and hip, Terry Bradshaw, Howie Long, Jimmy Johnson, buying up all of South Florida, buying up all of Back Montana is Howie. And you dug deep in your pockets to buy us some new digs. Put it, put me back a little bit, but uh, I you, think it's worth it. Can you write it off? <laughs> Can't write this off our alimony. I, I've already, I, that already found uh, out. Give <laughs> the viewers a tour of our new set. Well, I started the first year with Fox giving you a tour, so I'll do it again. Chip Frazier, our camera guy. Chip, how you doing, buddy? Third degree black belt. I don't want to upset you. If I'm not making a move just right, keep me posted, big guy. Julian Barbary, how you doing, darling? TV, welcome. My new, my new home. Her new home. And notice this, though. It's right now in front of Jimmy and Howie. No longer will they have to turn their back, and Howie cannot ignore Jillian. It should make for an interesting season, don't you think? Chip, you want to follow me? If you don't, that's okay. Right this way. Come on, Chip. Here we go. Research right here. Hey, everybody, turn around. Everybody, turn around. <laughs> They're going to give you all the updated information on the games going around the league. That's our staff right there. Every one of them just got them off parole. Here we go. <laughs> Over here now. Now, this is where the information really gets going. As you'll see, we've got Jeff Quinn from Nebraska in Stands for Knowledge. <laughs> Jeff's over there. Michael Berger, he's over here. Michael, we don't know what he does. He's just here a lot. And then this guy, notice this, get a good close chip. If you want to get a close up, it's okay. But that little ball head and that little big old bag belongs to John Zarneski, our information guy. The number one guy in the business called the Czar. There it is. There's the face with the body. There it is, Czar. Lay it on him. Didn't shave today. <laughs> chip, you wanna, you wanna follow me, Chip? If you don't, that's okay. <laughs> Over here, Chip, we go to the old... Imp now, this is where we'll do interviews with stars, and we'll come over here. How he likes it, because he likes to take a nap every now and then. And this nice and spongy place. And uh, Kiefer Sullivan's joining us today, and I'll be doing an in-depth interview with Kiefer, and I think you'll enjoy that. So that's our new set. And uh, I'm just going to stay over here, boys. I'm going to throw it back to you, JV, and uh, kind of enjoy myself. Chip, the, you have a good time with that? Is that okay? The comedic <laughs> stylings of Terry Bradshaw in depth of Howie. I'm glad he's staying over there. Jimmy, all without a doubt. Oh, now I'm coming back. Another oh, no. new wrinkle 
on the show is a bonus ticker that we've added, which will bring you more information than ever before. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see up-to-the-minute news and notes from our NFL insider that Terry introduced you to, John Zarneski. Now, the logos to my right to the left of your screen will indicate the teams that are coming up. All right, folks, it is time now to head on over to the Meadowlands, where two of the NFC's Super Bowl favorites are about to square off. It'll be the Rams and the Giants. Two other favorites, Dick Stockton and the Moose, Daryl Johnston, are standing by. And hello, JB, guys. we have a mighty good matchup to kick off this season, and both the Rams and the Giants feel that this year could be significant for them. They have high hopes, and it could be special. The Rams certainly so, with Kurt Warner back at quarterback, 0-6 as a starter. His hand problems are history. He is ready to go, as is Marshall Falk, who was ineffective in the second half of last year with all kinds of injuries. Now, the Giants feel that they could put points up with the Rams. They have Jeremy Shockey, their outspoken tight end, crack ribs in preseason. He'll start today. And Ike Hilliard, who was out for the second half of last year, will be the third wide receiver as well for the Giants. Pressure on the quarterback will be significant today. So we'll focus on two key matchups, Kyle Turley and Michael Strahan on one side of the ball and the speed rusher Leonard Little on the other side against the inexperienced Ian Allen. Those are the key matchups. Right now, let's send you to Detroit and Kurt Menefee. Well, Dick, here in Detroit, it's the kickoff of a new era as we've got some old familiar faces in brand new places as the Lions host the Arizona Cardinals. And that includes the guy who used to be a star of the team with the star in his helmet, the all-time leading rusher in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, has now run from Dallas to Arizona, where he's looking to put a name on a franchise that has been searching for an identity for years. Meanwhile, Steve Mariucci has been one of the biggest names in NFL coaching for years, but after six seasons with the 49ers, he's finally left his heart in San Francisco, coming to Detroit for a little of that old Motown sound. Back to his home state of Michigan to coach the Lions, looking to correct a franchise problem that has seen their record be the opposite of what he's used to with the Niners. New faces here and something new in Green Bay, which is where our Kenny Albert is. Kurt, a historic day in Green Bay as the Packers get set to host the Vikings. The rededication of the newly renovated Lambeau Field, a three-year, $295 million project. I'm inside the new Lambeau Field atrium. Fans taking part in interactive games. They can pretend they're Brett Favre for a couple of minutes, try and hit some targets. Also here in the atrium, the new Packers Hall of Fame, a Packers Pro Shop, a number of restaurants. You can even book a wedding here. So Lambeau, much more than a football stadium. But the beauty of it all, the Packers have preserved the inner seating bowl. When you sit and watch the game, it has the feel of 1967. You walk into Lambeau, you can still feel the history. Today, Brett Favre makes his 174th consecutive start for the Packers. That's a record for an NFL quarterback. And, JB, as I send it back to you, as I look around, there's a lot more to do in uh, Green Bay now than just tailgating. Kenny, indeed, booking a wedding there. That would involve Bradshaw, right? Oh. All right, folks, later today, most oh. of you will see Bill Parcells no, no, no. and the Dallas Cowboys take on a playoff team from last year. The hell